Hi everybody, hope everybody's keeping well and coping. I'm gonna make this short because I'm cooking it to death here. Absolutely uh, roasting. So I've seen this quite a few times sat on the shelf and uh, I eventually bought it, which is why we're here. If you've been 35th scale, I'd have bought it straight away. Um, good kit, uh, no issues from what I can remember. If there are any, they'll be mentioned in the video, but nothing stands out. Probably be nice to add a diorama maybe, but um, dioramas ain't my bag, man. Sorry, you're gonna have to look elsewhere for that. No interest whatsoever. <laughs> so, enough of this yakking, and uh, let's see what we get in the box. So the 88, a quick glance through the bag and the parts look okay. Then the truck, this single piece is beautiful. And thankfully the figures look absolutely superb. None of those dodgy pilots hanging around. Decals. Two color schemes are offered here. I should have mentioned this earlier, but we've got two manufacturers in one box. We've got the truck made by Tamiya, and the 88 is made by Talieri, hence the different colored plastics. The Tamiya instructions also let you know that there will be a clash of part numbers. So you get an A1 part for the truck, and you'll get an A1 part for the gun. But because both kits are different colors, this shouldn't really be an issue. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut and clean all the parts of the truck. So there we are, all the parts cut and cleaned up, just ready to glue. So having had a close look at these gun parts, now I've got them out of the bag, there is a different feel to them. It's quite telling. Uh, things that do stand out is that the detail is a bit softer. And of course, the quality of plastic is different. I'll have a funny feeling there'll be a bit more cleanup to do on these parts. So I'm going to do the same process as I did with the truck parts. Cut all these parts out and clean them up. So that's everything cut loose and clean. And of course, unlike the Tamiya truck, there's a bit more cleanup to do on the gun. Now I personally like doing this, it's like a big jigsaw puzzle now. And because the illustrations are so good in the instruction book, I shouldn't have any issue cross-referencing the parts to build this kit. So I've already started to make some small sub-assemblies, both on the truck and the gun. And from these, the whole build should come together fairly quickly.
So I've left the easiest build to last. Let's get on with the truck. So chalk and cheese, as far as uh, build goes, but now they're both built, don't they look nice as a couple? They do go well together. So I'm going to disassemble some of the parts that I haven't glued, ready for paint. And my first coat will be black. I don't know why or what the real reason was, maybe I thinned the paint down too much or maybe there's too much release agent on the mold, but the paint started to bead on the surface. But I've never had any problems before with Tamiya kits, so I don't know why. Now for the main color, I chose these two. Before I picked one of them, I decided to spray them on a bit of plastic just to see what they looked like when they were dry. I'm going to go for the German grey. German grey applied. Next I'm going to create a highlight colour using the base colour with a bit of white. So I've mixed the paint reasonably thick. And I'm going to spray this colour just from above and above only. You see on the gun here, I've sprayed a bit of the highlight colour from the sides. Next, some highlights by dry brushing with some oils. I've mixed the light grey and I've just added a tint of blue. So I'm going to take as much of this oil paint off as I can. Almost non-existent on the brush. That way I can build up the highlights gradually. Now I don't usually, but I've sealed in the paint and the oils with a coat of satin varnish. I've done this so if this technique goes wrong, I can wash it all off. So creating a dark wash using these two colours. And because I'm putting it through the airbrush, I've thinned it down considerably and I've added a bit of detergent. Just to play safe. And I'm just going to choose one part first, see if it works. And I'm going to drench this wash all over the part. So I've let that wash dry thoroughly. So next thing I'm going to do with a wet chiseled brush, downward strokes, take some of the excess off. I'll go so far, let it dry, and then see whether I need to go over it again. If I'm not 100% happy with the results, this can simply all be washed off.
Well, I think that looks okay. But with that dark wash, I've lost some of the highlights. So I'm just gonna go back over some of them again, very gently. So I'm just gonna add a bit of weathering, not a lot. I'm gonna use this stuff, mix with a bit of water, remove as much excess as I can. And before I apply it to the truck, I'll just spray this on a bit of plastic card. Once I'm happy with the size of the splats, then I'll apply this from underneath. Now it doesn't matter if I go overboard with this stuff, it's easy to clean off. But the next thing I want to do is add a darker, richer colour mud. I'm going to try this stuff, watered down. Because this is acrylic, it's permanent. So I'm just going to apply it very sparingly with a smaller brush. Now everything's dry, I'm going to blend everything in with a dry chisel brush. So this stuff didn't really work. It uh, serves another purpose, not for the purpose I was using it for, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. In the end, I ended up reverting to this stuff with a brush with some uh, odorless enamel thinners and going around the edges again. So the figures, I assume the Tamiya because they're the same colour plastic as the truck. Uh, what I noticed now I've looked at them a bit more closely is that this figure here seems a lot larger. But seeing as he's a driver and you hardly see him anyway, it won't really matter. So I'm going to clean them up, assemble them and then start painting them. So the figure's built up and you do get optional Optional arms, if you wish. <laughs> and here I've applied several light coats of Tamiya white paint. So I'm going to start with the face and using these two colours first, create a very thin wash. Once that's dried, I've added a touch of red to that mix. Once again, giving the face another wash. With that coat dry, I've added a hint of blue to that mix again. This time picking out the recessed areas, so the shadow areas. And then for the highlights, using these two colours, picking out the nose, the cheeks, the chin and the forehead. So I'm going to start with the tunics and I'm mixing a, an olive green-ish colour using these four colours. In fact, that's a bit too vivid, so I'm just going to tone it down using this tan colour. The mix is quite thin. I'm going to apply it to the tunics, let it dry, and then decide whether I need to give it another coat or change the shade. I 
Happy with the shade, and then it's dry. I'm going to use the same mix, except this time I'm adding black. The mix will be quite thin, so it runs into all them recess areas. Now I haven't got a clip here, but this colour was far too light and I needed to add quite a bit more black. Trouble with some paints, especially these, it's hard to tell whether the shade's right until it's dried. So you can see the darker wash applied here. Use the same method for the trousers. Start off with a base coat using these three colours. And then I'm adding a darker wash of that colour. Once I think it's thoroughly dry and I'm happy, I'm going to add highlights to the tunic and the trousers. Now because these figures are small, I can get away with using the acrylic paint. If there were larger figures, I would use oils. So the figures are small enough for me to apply the highlights before the paint dries on the brush. So I've got as far as I want with the figures. I'm considering them finished and done now. Last thing I did was add a bit of Tamiya Paneline Wash on the torsos and a bit of graphite lead on the boots. Now I completely forgot about the beautiful crystal clear transparent parts, which are no good to me. So using some MIG pigment, European Earth, with a lot of water and a bit of detergent, just so this stuff won't bead on the surface of the transparent parts. So I'm not going to apply it to all the transparent parts yet, I'm just going to see where this works. So applying in downward strokes, and this solution is very thin. Now the surface is dried, I'm going to use a damp brush. And then with downward strokes, take some of this stuff off. Once again, if it doesn't work, this stuff can be washed off. Looks okay to me, I'll do the rest. Then cut them out and then apply them to the truck. These parts are a very tight fit and I must remember to rub my fingerprints off the inside of the windows. With that done now, I can start assembling all this together. This builds into a beautiful kit. I'm very happy with it and I hope you like the end results too. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you for the next video.